Hey PCS Hawks, this is Coach Guja here with our remote learning for our PE class. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to go over um, our warm up. We're going to have a small game that we're going to do um, that you can do with a family member or you can do by yourself. Um, but to get us started, we're going to do our warm up. Okay, our first exercise is going to be a squat jack. Um, we're going to do that very slowly to kind of show you how it works and the way it's going to work. You're going to have your feet shoulder width apart. You're going to have your hands on your waist just like I am. And what you're going to do is you're going to go out and you're going to bend down into a squat and then you're going to come up into a standing position. Then you're going to go back out again. So you're going to go out and down, up and in. Okay, so we're going to do 15. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Remember to try to keep yourself looking forward to try to keep your back from bending. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. All right, our next exercise, our second one is warm up exercise, is going to be a switch lunge. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to step one foot forward, you're going to get into a lunge, and then once you get into a lunge, you're going to jump in the air and switch. Okay? And we're going to do 20 of these. All right, so feet start together. You're going to take a first step out. You're going to go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. That kind of burned my legs a little bit. Now, our last exercise for our warm-up is going to be a push-up. We're going to do 15 of these. Remember, <clears throat> when you do your push-ups, you want to just bend your arms and keep your back straight. So when you're ready, begin. Very good. All right, now that our warm-up is done, I'll dust my hands off a little bit. The game we're going to be working on today is a game that you can use a laundry basket, you can use a clean trash can, or any type of, or even a box. And what's going to happen is you're going to set a bat, uh, you're going to set out a basket or a box. And what I've got here is, I know Coach Taft did a game earlier this week where you can use a pair of socks. I also have one of my son's little soccer balls. I also have a little ball. And I also have, if you don't have any of these, a paper ball. Now, what I'm for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna start out with using sock. What you're gonna do is we're gonna work on the underhand toss. And for a lot of you, you already know how to underhand toss. And that's great, this is gonna be a quick review. So when you underhand toss, you're going to take the item, it's, whether it's a ball or a pair of socks, you're going to put it in your favorite hand. For me, it's my right hand. So <clears throat> once you get the ball or sock in your favorite hand, what you're going to do is you're going to have this sock right here down here next to your side. What's your next step? You have three steps. First step is you're going to tick, which means you're going to take your hand and you're going to bring it just behind your body. So I'm going to tick. After I tick, you're gonna step, and when you step, you're gonna step with your opposite foot. So if I have the ball or pair of socks in my right hand, I'm gonna step with my left foot. And after I tick, and I step, and you talk. And when you talk, you're gonna bring that piece of equipment that's in your hand, you're gonna swing it forward, and then you're gonna let go. Now, for our first game, what you're gonna do is if you're playing by yourself and you're not with a family member, what you can do is, where your basket is or or box or whatever you're tossing into you can start out by taking one two three steps back you're going to get the piece of equipment in your hand your favorite hand we're going to do the underhand toss so you're going to tick step and tuck and you make it very good now some of you might say hey coach that's really easy i can do three not a problem so this time since you made it you're going to go one two three four steps back you can do the same thing. You're going to be tick, step, and top. And if you make it, great. Now you're going to go five steps back. Now, 
if by chance I'm going to go back five, four, five. Now that I'm five sets back, say for example I tick, I step, I talk, and I don't quite make it. What you'll do is you'll come pick up your equipment. You're going to get three steps away again, so you're going to start back over. So you can go one, two, three, and then you're going to try again and see if you can get past five steps away. Now a second way you can play this game is you can play with a partner, you can play with a friend, you can play with a family member. You're going to still have the same idea. We're going to have one ball or one pair of socks. Actually, let's change the equipment just to kind of give us a different idea. So I'm going to get my son's soccer ball. So if you're playing with a family member or a friend, you're going to do three steps away, or you can do five steps away, totally up to you, but it needs to be the same amount of steps per person. What you're going to do is we can add exercises to it. So when we do exercises, um, if I was playing with a partner or a friend, I'd say, hey, uh, this round, let's do five push-ups. So if I tick, step, and I talk in an underhand toss, and I make it, the person I'm playing against will do five push-ups. Now, after I shoot, whether I make it or miss it, it'll be my partner's turn, or my uh, person I'm playing against is turn. After they'll get it, they'll, they'll have their turn to shoot, and after they do the underhand toss, whether they make it or miss it, then it'll be my turn again. And if they make it, then maybe I'll do five push-ups, or we can do 10 jumping jacks, totally up to you. Now, <clears throat> the last round that we're gonna do is, I know a lot of you who like to play basketball know the game horse. The coaches, we love to play horse, and um, this, is, this is a way you can incorporate even basketball into this activity. And what's gonna happen is, with the game of horse, what you can do is you have one ball or one pair of socks or even a trash uh, newspaper ball and what you can do is uh, you get to shoot pretty much anywhere it can be in the house it can be um, it can be in the house it can be just outside and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a spot and shoot from it so if I pick a spot and I shoot from and I do the underhand toss and say I make it oh I didn't make it it bounced out that may happen after I get my turn to shoot, it'll be the person I'm playing against his turn, okay? And once they get the ball, they can kick anywhere they wanna shoot. So maybe they wanna choose something that might be a little more difficult and they stand really far away. And they're gonna to toss it and they made it. So after they make it, or whoever makes it, the next person, the person you're playing against, has to shoot from this spot. So what would happen, you'd come and get the ball, you would stand there and wait for the person to get the ball so they knew exactly where to shoot from. Okay, and if I was playing against somebody else and I shot it and I missed and I was trying to make it, that would be a letter for me. So my letter would now be H. And you keep playing and playing until each person or until one person spells the word horse. And that's H-O-R-S-E. If you're the person that spells horse, then you lose and the other person wins. All right. Um, these are just uh, a few lit different games that you can do with something simple in the house with a laundry basket, a box, a ball, even a pair of socks, or even a newspaper ball. So <clears throat> I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you liked our warm-up exercise. I hope um, everyone is doing well and hopefully see everyone soon.